Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about Honkai Star Rail because I know a lot of you guys have been asking if I played this game or not and uh, let's just say that uh, I play this game a lot. I've completed all of the missions over here. I'm currently Trailblazer level 41. I've actually saved up a bunch of my summons. As you can see, I've got 17,000 of these gems as well as 23 of these summons and uh, I've got eight more of these free summons. So I am fully free to play. I don't plan to spend any money on this because I'm literally treating this as like a JRPG because this is a gacha game disguised as a JRPG, but it's a very good JRPG. So personally, I have no problem playing this game because I just enjoy JRPGs in general since the combat system is turn-based and I just like that. Um, I do play on the NA servers for those who are wondering, which is why my ping is a little bit high, you know, it's in the low 200s-ish. So if you do want to add me because you do play on the NA servers, feel free to do so. My UID is over here. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious on what five star characters I pulled. I got a Clara, I got a Bailu, I got Zila as well, and of course I have the beautiful Himeko. For those who didn't know, I did play quite a bit of Honkai Impact 3rd, um, so I am pretty happy to see Himeko over here. I was uh, very, very heartbroken uh, when her moment happened in Honkai Impact 3rd. It was a very touching moment. But other than that, all of my other units are all just regular four stars. I am gonna be building the Mahjong girl over here or Qingxue over here because uh, she is one of my favorite characters because of how RNG she is. Um, you're, you know, it's RNG on RNG. You play a gacha game and you have a gacha character. It's actually pretty funny. But there's actually a logical reason on why I'm building Qingxue. And the reason is because I do want a full quantum team. So Zila over here is a quantum based element. Qingxue is also a quantum based and then Silver Wolf when she comes out is also going to be a quantum based so I'll have three quantum based characters and then I just need to wait for one more quantum based character to come out. Probably Fu Xian I believe is also quantum based. For those who are wondering who Fu Xian is, it is this girl over here, the divination girl. Um, as you can see on the bottom left corner it does have a quantum sign on it so I'm guessing she is also a quantum unit so I'm probably going to be building that as my mono quantum team. Now for those who are curious on why I want a quantum mono team is simply because Silver Wolf's ability apparently is to change an elemental weakness on an enemy based on your team composition. So if you have a full team of quantum, it's going to force a quantum weakness on the enemy. So I'm going to be able to brute force this game really, really easily. So that is the reason why I'm saving all of my currency because I got very, very lucky and I got Zila extremely early. So I have Zila. I don't need anything else. So there's absolutely no reason for me to continue pulling. Light cones, personally, these are like weapons in the game. I personally don't think this one is worth it. It's very, very powerful, yes, but the free light cone that you get cruising in the Stellar Sea is equally as powerful. Sure, it's not at the same level of OP-ness, but it's still really, really good. And plus, you can actually superimpose it all the way up to level 5. As you can see, mine's at level 4 already, which gives me 14% critical hit rate, but if the enemy is under 50% HP, I get another 14% crit rate, and then I also get the attack increase by 35% for 2 turns whenever I defeat an enemy and uh, my Zila is absolutely monstrous with her insane HP, insane attack damage as well as crit rate and crit damage. Uh, you know this could definitely use some more work if we look at my relics. I am using still you know some four star relics over here. Nothing too amazing but I am slowly working my way up with the five star relics. I will be switching these gloves to this one over here as a placeholder later down the line simply because of crit rate and crit damage. You know this is a lot better but eventually I will be swapping over to genius of the Brilliant Stars, all of my units are going to be using this set right here, simply because it increases quantum damage by 10%. And if you guys remember, I am going for a mono quantum team, so basically all of my damage is going to be quantum, but on top of that is the four piece that makes this set insane. When the wearer deals damage to a target enemy ignores 10% of defense, if the enemy has quantum weakness, the wearer additionally ignores 10% defense. So since I'm going to be able to force quantum weakness on the enemy, since I have Silver Wolf, I will be able to benefit from this extra 20% defense break or defense down or whatever you want to call it. And my team is just going to be monstrous because every single unit I have is going to be quantum. They're all going to have the same set. They're all going to have extra damage and ignoring 20%. So 20% defense down is a pretty big deal. Now, for those who are curious about the simulated world, I have completed world six. I've completed all of them already. So uh, I do need to go back to world three, I believe. I think you can do world three rank two now. So this is probably going to be the next thing I'm going to be working on. I believe there is a 
set that I need. It is probably this one, I think. Increases the wearer max HP by 12%, but when the wearer speed is 120 or higher, all allies attack increase by 8%. I heard that this stacks, so you can have all four units with this, and it's actually going to give you a ton of damage. But that's pretty much where I am in Honkai Star Rail. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Now, in tomorrow's video, I will talk about stamina or energy management, because I know a lot of people, you've probably already hit uh, Trailblazer 40 like me, and you're wondering, okay, I've got limited stamina, but there's so many things to farm for. What should I prioritize? Because I know there's a ton of you guys which uh, aren't really gacha gamers, and you'd like to hear my opinion on how I manage things. So uh, you guys can look forward to that video, which comes out tomorrow. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.